Atropa belladonna, Wikipedia article audio. Atropa belladonna, commonly known as belladonna or deadly nightshade, is a perennial herbaceous plant in the nightshade family Solanaceae, which includes tomatoes, potatoes, and aubergine. It is native to Europe, North Africa, and Western Asia. Its distribution extends from Great Britain in the west to western Ukraine and the Iranian province of Jilin in the east. It is also naturalized and slash or introduced in some parts of Canada and the United States. The foliage and berries are extremely toxic when ingested, containing tropan alkaloids. These toxins include atropine, scopolamine, and hyoscyamine which cause delirium and hallucinations, and are also used as pharmaceutical anticholinergics. Description Distribution Atropa belladonna has unpredictable effects. The antidote for belladonna poisoning is physostigmine or pilocarpine, the same as for atropine. It has a long history of use as a medicine, cosmetic, and poison. Before the Middle Ages, it was used as an anesthetic for surgery, the ancient Romans used it as a poison, and, predating this, it was used to make poison-tipped arrows. The genus name Atropa comes from Atropus, one of the three fates in Greek mythology, who cut the thread of life after her sisters had spun and measured it and the name Belladonna is derived from Italian and means beautiful woman because the herb was used in eye drops by women to dilate the pupils of the eyes to make them appear seductive. Atropa Belladonna is a branching herbaceous perennial rhizomatous hemicryptophyte, often growing as a subshrub from a fleshy rootstock. Plants grow to 2 m tall with ovate leaves 18 cm long. The bell-shaped flowers are dull purple with green tinges and faintly scented. The fruits are berries, which are green, ripening to a shiny black, and approximately 1.5 cm in diameter. The berries are sweet and are consumed by animals that disperse the seeds in their droppings, even though they contain toxic alkaloids. There is a pale yellow flowering form called Atropa belladonna var. Lutea with pale yellow fruit. Atropa belladonna is native to temperate southern and central Europe but has been cultivated and introduced outside its native range. In southern Sweden it was recorded in flora of Skane in 1870 as grown in apothecary gardens near Malmo. In Britain it is native only on calcareous soils, on disturbed ground, field margins, hedgerows, and open woodland. More widespread as an alien, it is often a relic of cultivation as a medicinal herb. Seed is spread mainly by birds. Cultivation It is naturalized in parts of North America, where it is often found in shady, moist locations with limestone-rich soils. It is considered a weed species in parts of the world, where it colonizes areas with disturbed soils. Atropa belladonna is rarely used in gardens, but, when grown, it is usually for its large upright habit and showy berries. Germination of the small seeds is often difficult, due to hard seed coats that cause seed dormancy. Germination takes several weeks under alternating temperature conditions, but can be sped up with the use of gibberellic acid. The seedlings need sterile soil to prevent damping off and resent root disturbance during transplanting. Naming and Taxonomy the name Atropa belladonna was published by Linnaeus in Species Plant Arum in 1753. It is in the nightshade family, which it shares with potatoes, tomatoes, eggplants, jimson weed, tobacco, wolfberry, and chili peppers. The common names for this species include belladonna, 
Deadly Nightshade, Dival, Dwale, Banewort, Devil's Berries, Naughty Man's Cherries, Death Cherries, Beautiful Death, Devil's Herb, Great Morel, and Dwayberry. The name Atropa is thought to be derived from that of the Greek goddess Atropos, one of the three Greek fates or destinies who would determine the course of a man's life by the weaving of threads that symbolized his birth the events in his life, and finally his death, with Atropus cutting these threads to mark the last of these. The name Belladonna comes from the Italian language, meaning beautiful lady, originating either from its usage as cosmetic for the face or, more probably, from its usage to increase the pupil size in women. Belladonna is one of the most toxic plants found in the Eastern Hemisphere and its use by mouth increases risk in numerous clinical conditions, such as complications of pregnancy, cardiovascular diseases, gastrointestinal disorders, and psychiatric disorders, among others. All parts of the plant contain tropan alkaloids. Roots have up to 1.3%, leaves 1.2%, Stocks 0.65%, flowers 0.6%, ripe berries 0.7%, and seeds 0.4% tropan alkaloids. Leaves reach maximal alkaloid content when the plant is budding and flowering. Roots are most poisonous in the end of the plant's vegetation period. Belladonna nectar is transformed by bees into honey that also contains tropan alkaloids. The berries pose the greatest danger to children because they look attractive and have a somewhat sweet taste. The root of the plant is generally the most toxic part, though this can vary from one specimen to another. Toxicity the active agents in belladonna, atropine, hosina, and hyoscyamine, have anticholinergic properties. The symptoms of belladonna poisoning include dilated pupils, sensitivity to light, blurred vision, tachycardia, loss of balance, staggering, headache, rash, flushing, severely dry mouth and throat, slurred speech, urinary retention, constipation, confusion, hallucinations, delirium, and convulsions. In 2009, a belladonna berries were mistaken for blueberries by an adult woman, the six berries she ate were documented to result in severe anticholinergic syndrome. The plant's deadly symptoms are caused by atropine's disruption of the parasympathetic nervous system's ability to regulate involuntary activities, such as sweating, breathing, and heart rate. The antidote for belladonna poisoning is physostigmine or pilocarpine, the same as for atropine. Legal Status Atropa belladonna is also toxic to many domestic animals, causing narcosis and paralysis. However, cattle and rabbits eat the plant seemingly without suffering harmful effects. In humans, its anticholinergic properties will cause the disruption of cognitive capacities, such as memory and learning. Uses Belladonna cultivation is legal in Southern and Eastern Europe, Pakistan, North America, and Brazil. All parts of the belladonna plant can be cultivated, bought, kept, and distributed without a legal license or medical prescription in the U.S. Sales of belladonna in the U.S. conform to U.S. supplement laws or are regulated by the FDA. Belladonna leaves and roots can be bought with a medical prescription in pharmacies throughout Germany. The common name belladonna originates from its historic use by women, as belladonna is Italian for beautiful lady. Drops prepared from the belladonna plant were used to dilate women's pupils, an effect considered to be attractive and seductive. Belladonna drops act as a muscarinic antagonist blocking receptors in the muscles of the eye that constrict pupil size. 
Belladonna is currently rarely used cosmetically, as it carries the adverse effects of causing minor visual distortions, inability to focus on near objects, and increased heart rate. Prolonged usage was reputed to cause blindness. Cosmetics Scientific evidence to recommend the use of a belladonna in its natural form for any condition is insufficient, although some of its components, in particular L, atropine, which was purified from belladonna in the 1830s, have accepted medical uses. Donatol is a prescription pharmaceutical, approved in the United States by the FDA, that combines natural belladonna alkaloids in a specific, fixed ratio with phenobarbital to provide peripheral anticholinergic slash antispasmodic action and mild sedation. According to its labeling, it is possibly effective for use as adjunctive therapy in the treatment of irritable bowel syndrome and acute enterocolitis. Belladonna has been used in herbal medicine for centuries as a pain reliever, muscle relaxer, and anti-inflammatory, and to treat menstrual problems, peptic ulcer disease, histaminic reaction, and motion sickness. At least one 19th century eclectic medicine journal explained how to prepare a belladonna tincture for direct administration to patients. Belladonna tinctures, decoctions, and powders, as well as alkaloid salt mixtures, are still produced for pharmaceutical use, and these are often standardized at 1037 parts hyoscyamine to 194 parts atropine and 65 parts scopolamine. The alkaloids are compounded with phenobarbital and slash or kaolin and pectin for use in various functional gastrointestinal disorders. The tincture, used for identical purposes, remains in most pharmacopoeias, with a similar tincture of deterostromonium having been in the U.S. pharmacopoeia at least until the late 1930s. Cigarettes with belladonna leaves soaked in opium tincture were a prescription medicine as recently as 1930. The combination of belladonna and opium, in powder, tincture, or alkaloid form, is particularly useful by mouth or as a suppository for diarrhea and some forms of visceral pain, it can be made by a compounding pharmacist, and may be available as a manufactured fixed combination product in some countries. Scopolamine is used as the hydrobromide salt for GI complaints and motion sickness, and to potentiate the analgesic and anxiolytic effects of opioid analgesics. It was formerly used in a painkiller called twilight sleep in childbirth. Atropine sulfate is used as a midriatic and cycloplegic for eye examinations. It is also used as an antidote to organophosphate and carbamate poisoning, and is loaded in an auto-injector for use in case of a nerve gas attack. Atropinization results in 100% blockade of the muscarinic acetylcholine receptors, and atropine sulfate is the benchmark for measuring the power of anticholinergic drugs. Medicinal Uses Hyoscyamine is used as the sulfate or hydrobromide for GI problems and Parkinson's disease. Its side effect profile is intermediate to those of atropine and scopolamine and can also be used to combat the toxic effects of organophosphates. Hyoscyamine was the primary alkaloid in Asmatter, a non-perception treatment for the relief of bronchial asthma, until Asmatter was discontinued. Alternative Medicine Belladonna preparations are used in homeopathy as alternative medicine treatments for various conditions. In homeopathic practices, belladonna was prescribed by German physician, Samuel Hahnemann, as a topical medication for inflammation and pain. In the form of Dr. Koster's anti-gas pills, belladonna was a homeopathic medication for upset stomach and excessive flatulence. 
there is insufficient scientific evidence justifying the use of belladonna for these or are any other clinical disorders. In one study, the most common preparation was diluted to the 3-0-C level in homeopathic notation. This level of dilution does not contain any of the original plant, although preparations with lesser dilutions that contain trace amounts of belladonna may exist. In 2010 and again in 2016, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration warned against the use of homeopathic teething tablets found to contain belladonna. Atropa belladonna and related plants, such as Deterostromonium, have occasionally been used as recreational drugs because of the vivid hallucinations and delirium they produce. However, these hallucinations are most commonly described as very unpleasant, and recreational use is considered extremely dangerous because of the high risk of unintentional fatal overdose. In addition, the central nervous system effects of atropine include memory disruption, which may lead to severe confusion. The major effects of belladonna consumption last for three to four hours, Visual hallucinations can last for three to four days, and some negative after effects are preserved for several days. The use of belladonna as a recreational drug is reported to bring about predominantly bad trips that the users want never to repeat for as long as they live. Trips induced by belladonna are threatening, dark, demonic, hellish, frightening, and terrifying. Occasionally, belladonna can induce out-of-body experiences, a heightened sense of awareness, and enhance sexual, mystical, and lucid dreaming experiences often in combination with other psychoactive plants. Positive experiences induced by belladonna consumption are rare. Historically, the plant was an important, active ingredient in which is flying ointments, complex, transdermally absorbed hallucinogens with a fatty or oily base, which caused a death-like trance in which vivid hallucinations of flight and bacchanalian carousal were experienced. The tropan alkaloids of A. belladonna were used as poisons, and early humans made poisonous arrows from the plant. In ancient Rome, it was used as a poison by Agrippina the Younger, wife of Emperor Claudius on advice of Locusta, a lady specialized in poisons, and Livia, who is rumored to have used it to kill her husband Emperor Augustus. Recreational Drug Poison Folklore Flying Ointment Macbeth of Scotland, when he was still one of the lieutenants of King Duncan I of Scotland, used it during a truce to poison the troops of the invading Harold Harefoot, King of England, to the point that the English troops were unable to stand their ground and had to retreat to their ships. In the past, witches were believed to use a mixture of belladonna, opium poppy and other plants, typically poisonous, in flying ointment, which they applied to help them fly to gatherings with other witches. Carlo Ginzburg and others have argued that flying ointments were preparations meant to encourage hallucinatory dreaming, a possible explanation for the inclusion of belladonna and opium poppy in flying ointments concerns the known antagonism between tropan alkaloids of belladonna and opiate alkaloids in the opium poppy, papaver somniferum, which produces a dream-like waking state. This antagonism was known in folk medicine, discussed in traditional medicine formularies. The belladonna herb was also notable for its unpredictable effects from toxicity. Among the ancient folk traditions of the Romanian-Ukrainian region of Bukovina in the Carpathians is the ritual for a Bukovinian girl to enhance her attractiveness by making an offering to deadly nightshade. She entered the fields on a Sunday in Shrovetide, clad in her Sunday best, accompanied by her mother and bringing a bag of bread, salt and brandy. 
she would dig up a deadly nightshade root and leave the three offerings in its place. As she returned home, she carried the root on the top of her head. On the way both to and from home, she avoided all quarrels and arguments. If asked by anyone on the way back what she was taking home, she would not divulge the truth or the spell would break. Atropa means inflexible, and is derived from the Greek Atropos, the name of one of the three Moirai. Belladonna is derived from Italian, meaning beautiful lady. The juice of a belladonna was applied as a decoction to beautify by inducing pallid skin and dilated eyes. Female Attractiveness Etymology